Hey everybody, here is Magno Borgo and on this video I want to show a simple technique to extract trackers from the Smart Vector tool on Nuke 10. I have been trying to use the Smart Vector and the Vector Distort nodes and uh, they have a great potential but sometimes uh, depending on the shot motion or the, the vector detail you get uh, for example this kind of distortion that's too far from the reference frame and uh, the paint starts to distort too much so it's really hard to use it for digital makeup or it's just impractical to use the vector distort as we want to. So I thought maybe there's a way to extract trackers from the smart vector and then I can use the trackers for free because I, I already have the smart vector rendered and I can use these trackers to do the regular stuff, as plan warp, uh, match moving, stabilization, and etc. So I came up with some expressions that I will show you here, and I will leave these nodes on the video description for download. If you want to study it, the expressions are here inside. And basically the technique uh, uses the STMAP output from the vector to start, so you can grab this STMAP, which is a representation of the distortion from the smart vectors. And if you want, you can even uh, uh, pre-render this or use the vector distort uh, directly. If you want to pre-render, just use EXR 32-bit, okay? And uh, let me grab mine here. After that, you just look for the point that you want to extract a tracker, for example, the tip of the nose, Grab your ST map on the uh, node here, you sample that same point, and then uh, the result of this is the point rendered as a white point over a black background, and then you can use the curve tool using the max luma pixel to track this point automatically. You don't need to use a tracker, uh, just use the curve tool, it's more simple and then you wait a little bit and then you have the 2D tracking information for that pixel. Okay, so let's take a look here. Maximum data, here's the 2D information. Then you can create a tracker as usual, add a track and then just copy and paste this information on the tracker. And you have a tracker and then you can start to use it with the other tools. Let's check the result over the original plate so you can see that the tracking is really sticking to that pixel. You know, using the ST map is not 100% accurate because uh, there's a subsampling problem on the expression, but it's usually accurate enough to do most of stuff, or you can just sample two, three, four trackers and do the average to get a better result, but usually it's a good result to start something like a roto and such. The controls here are really simple. So the blur is just to get an average of the pixels that you are sampling. And you need to set the size accordingly to your plate size. But usually you want to keep this as small as possible without the point disappearing, of course. So that's it. Thanks for watching.